Welcome back. I'm here with Lorraine Delalonga today, who is part of Spectrum as well as Alive After Five. Welcome, Lorraine. Thank you, Peggy. So, Spectrum was last weekend. Big uh, crowd come out. Lots yeah. going on. I think we had record numbers. I know we had record uh, temperatures. <laughs> it was really hot. We were right from 2nd Street this year, all along North Railway, right through and including Rotary Park. So, we had a lot of things happening. 42 retail vendors. We had 10 jump castles, three other activity castles, and we had Ninja Warrior right outside the park. Then all the way down to Second Street on every block, we had some type of entertainment. Baddest, we had Firefly, we had food vendors. There was always something for everyone. That's great. Yeah, I myself went to Rotary Park and it was amazing to see how many vendors were in there and, and how big that park is. It's it's something it, to see. It is. It's quite large, isn't it? It's bigger than what people thought. Absolutely. That's well, what amazed when you, me. When you think of it, at one time there was a swimming pool in there. I heard that. So, yes. Definitely heard a lot of history about North Railway. That was interesting as well. Well, you must be a lot younger than me because I actually was in the swimming pool. <laughs> yeah, when yeah it no, was there, I didn't so. know that. Yeah. So, you're needing volunteers for next year? You're starting soon then? Yes. Just like last year, we finished one spectrum, and the same month we met with the North Railway businesses. So, this year we're going to take a bit of a break, but we will need more board members, more volunteers all the time. So, we start looking for people at the end of August, and our first meeting is the third week in September. Wow, that gets, gets it rolling. Yeah. So, moving on now to Alive After Five. What's happening there? That's right. Well, we try to bring downtown alive with our new Alive After Five Downtown Association. This is our third year, and we're pretty excited about that. This year, we, and we change it up every year. So this year, we've got some activities happening in Riverside Veterans Memorial Park. We've got things happening on the 600 block and the 400 block of 3rd Street. And we've got things happening on uh, 4th Street, getting ready for the parade. So we've got a lot happening. And we've even got a special thing this year, um, singer-songwriters competition. So anybody that likes to make up their own music, you know, create their own songs or music, we have that going on in Riverside Park too, one of the weeks. So do they actually sing the song there that day and it's, That's it's right. a contest? That's right, yeah. Oh, okay. So we're looking forward to that. And then we also have included now Riverside. We have a Riverside Summer Fest. And that's one block, the block that Fresh and Morrow's is on. And that is June 24th. And that, that street comes alive and we have a lot of activities happening down there as well. So what kind of things can people expect when they go to Riverside or to the Foreigner block? What okay. kind of events? Well, we're still going to have some jump castles for the kids. I don't think you can beat that. Kids yeah. love jump castles. And again, giant Jenga and we're going to have golf and we're going to have food vendors. We will have some retail vendors unless they're on the street in front of businesses. And those businesses are going to stay open and put some sales on and encourage people to come into their stores and we're going to have uh, different activities, some contests, chalk art. It's going to be a lot of fun for the kids, the adults, and probably, you know, we always get a couple of racing cars down there. Something for everyone. So what time does the, well, obviously it starts at 5. It starts <laughs> at After 5. five. <laughs> yeah, it starts at 5. Setups around 4 this year. We found it was just too hard to get set up at 5 and start at 5 because people start coming down at 4.30. So we had good numbers last year, the weather was good, and we're going to be closed from 5 till 9, either on the street or in the park. So if it does rain, do you just cancel the event? We do or? cancel it, yes. And do you try to rebook that, or is it just kind yeah. of a... We go right up until the middle of August, so we left a couple of weeks for flexibility. If it rains, we just tack on another week at the end. So do you also need volunteers for Alive After Five? You bet we do. We've got an excellent board, and I can't say that enough for Alive After Five and Spectrum. When people say they're going to do something, they get it done, and that makes a world of difference. So if anybody would like to join either of those boards, they should give us a call, and it's fun and it's exciting. We have a lot of fun with it. So where would they call you? They could call me at uh, 403-977-1363. Okay, is that the villa? That's my personal cell phone and then they can call me and we set them up, get them involved. We've already gotten some new board members just from people seeing our advertising. They've wanted to be a part of it. They want Medicine Hat downtown to be exciting. People are starting to know now about Riverside, North Railway, 
people didn't even know yes. what was on North Railway. <laughs> yeah, so, there was lots of those comments, that's for sure. That's right. So, and some people say they haven't been downtown for years and years and years. And when they come down, they're surprised at the new activities and things going on downtown. Well, that's great. Well, thanks, Lorraine. Thanks, so Katie. if you want to get involved in Spectrum or Live After Five, give Lorraine a call.